Nunnamans biology. So here in this video, let us discuss the PYQs from the topic Kingdom Pratishta. So this is a continuation of the chapter biological classification. So let us see these questions. See the first question. A free living nitrogen fixing cyanobacterium which is also in symbiotic association with the water firm ajola is so see the options here polypotrix b chlorella c is nostoc d is anabina so they are asking a free living nitrogen fixing and uh, it is a cyanobacterium which is in association with ajola so the correct option is anabina, which is a cyanobacterium, which is in association with the water fern, which is called as ajola. Okay. So, here the explanation is also given. The freshwater fern ajola it harbors anabina, which is a blue-green algae, in its leaf cavities. Chlorella is simply a green algae. So, why we are not uh, uh, selecting chlorella is it is a green algae and nostoc is a free-living organism. Okay, uh, it is also a cyanobacterium. It is involved in the nitrogen fixation. Even the tolipotrix is also a free living uh, organism which is involved in the nitrogen fixation. So, our co uh, correct option is anabina. So, see the next question. Now, see the second question. Which one of the following is a slime mold? See the options. Physarum, B, pyobacillus, C is anabina, D is rhizopus. So, the correct option for this is physarum, which is also called as, which is an example for slime mold. So, check the answer. Yeah. So, physarum, it belongs to the phylum amoebozoa. Okay. And uh, this is also means this is one of the example of slime mold. And let us proceed to the next question. Oxygenic photosynthesis occurs in, see the options, oscillatoria. B. Rhodospirillum, C. Chlorobium, and D. Chromatium. C. Oxygenic photosynthesis occurs, means uh, where the photosynthesis occurs in the presence of oxygen is in oscillatoria. Let us check. Yeah. It occurs in oscillatoria. It is a genus of cyanobacteria, okay, which is also named uh, for oscillation in its movement. So, now let us proceed to the next question. Single cell eukaryotes are included in. We know the single cell eukaryotes are included in the kingdom Protista. Yes. So let us answer this. Yeah. Single cell eukaryotes are included in kingdom Protista. It includes all the unicellular colonial eukaryotes except green and red algae. Okay. So it is also known as kingdom of unicellular eukaryotes. So now let us proceed to the next question. In the five kingdom classification, Chlamydomonas and Chlorella have been included in. So, let us see the options here. Protista, B is algae, C is plantae and B is monera. So, so in the five kingdom classification, these organisms, what are they? They are Chlamydomonas as well as Chlorella. They are included in. So, they are included in what are called as algae. Yeah, let us check. Yeah, it is correct answer. So, here the explanation is there. In the five kingdom classification, they are included in the kingdom Protista. Chlamydomonas and Chlorella are unicellular green algae that possess what are called as chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, which are characteristic pigments of the plants. However, they lack the specialized structures such as stems, roots, leaves, which are present in the plants. Therefore, they are not considered as true plants. Instead, they are classified. Um, are uh, present in the kingdom Protista. Okay, the kingdom Protista includes diverse group of unicellular, colonial, multicellular organisms that shares the characteristics with the plants, uh, animals, as well as fungi, and also possesses some unique characteristics. Okay, therefore, the kingdom is considered as catch-all group of all the eukaryotic organisms that do not fit into any other four kingdoms that is monera, protista, fungi and animalia. So therefore the correct option is A that is protista. Now let us proceed to the next question. 
pigment containing membranous extensions in some cyanobacteria are see the options nematophores b chromatophores c heterosis d basal bodies so uh, these are the extensions which are present in the cyanobacteria are chromatophores so let us check yeah chromatophore is a pigment pigmented or pigment containing lamellar structure that uh, will be associated means that is um, isolated from the photosynthetic bacteria or it may be cyanobacteria okay um, in this uh, cyanobacteria the plasma membrane will be projected into the folds okay they form what are called as lamellae so therefore it is a double membrane structures the pigments um, are most of the enzymes required the means these pigments which required the light they induce what is called as electron transport system and phosphorylation process even uh, means which are which is a part of photosynthesis and they are located uh, in the plasma membrane and in the lamella okay so the correct option is b that is chromatophores now let us proceed to the next question in which group of the organisms the cell wall forms two thin overlapping shells which fit together so it is in the diatoms when we have studied we will see the options here uh, dinoflagellates b is slime molds C is chrysophytes and D is euglenoids. So, the correct option is chrysophytes. Let us check. Yeah, chrysophytes include diatoms as well as desmids. So, the body of the diatoms is covered by a transparent silicaceous cell which is called as frustule. Okay, this frustule is made up of two halves. One half, upper half is called as epitheca and the lower half is called as hypotheca which will be like a soap box. Okay, so the correct option here is chrysophytes. So now let us proceed to the next question. Select the wrong statement. The wall of the diatoms are easily destructible. Diatomous earth is formed by the cell walls of diatoms. C. Diatoms of the chief producers in the oceans. D. Diatoms are microscopic and float positive, uh, passively in water. So now only we have seen diatoms uh, have um, the uh, silicaceous uh, walls. That is uh, one over the other which is uh, similar to that of the soapbox. It is not easily destructible. So that is the wrong answer. Yeah. The atoms are marine. They are freshwater unicellular organisms, which have the cell walls, which are called as frustules. They are composed of pectin impregnated with silica. It consists of two halves, which are overlapping with one another. These silicaceous frustules of diatoms does not decay easily. Over a period of time, they decay. Okay. So now let us proceed to the next question. Chrysophytes, euglenoids, dinoflagellates, slime molds are included in the kingdom. So see the options. Fungi. B is animalia. C is monera. D is protista. So all these are included in the kingdom protista. Yeah, all unicellular eukaryotic organisms like diatoms, desmids, euglenoids, dinoflagellates, slime molds are all included in the kingdom protista. So now let us proceed to the next question. Ciliates differ from all the other protozoans in, see the options here, having a contractile vacuole for removing the excess water, having two types of the nuclei, using flagella for locomotion, D, using pseudopodia for capturing the prey. Yeah, usually ciliates will be having two nuclei one is the micronucleus as well as the other is macronucleus so for example paramecium it has two types of the nucleus one is vegetative in function and one is sexual in function so the correct option is b now let us proceed to the next question which of the following organisms are known as chief producers in the oceans euglenoids cyanobacteria dinoflagellates diatoms so the correct option is diatoms yeah, diatoms are the chief producers of oceans. Over a period of time, they decay and produces what is called as diatomous earth. So, which is very rich uh, in a material which is used for the variety of purposes in the preparation of a polishers, in the preparation of some medicines, etc. So, these are some of the important PYQs from the topic Kingdom Protista, which belongs to the lesson that is biological classification. So, in my next video, I will be coming before you with the PYQs from the Kingdom Fungi. So, bye for now. Stay tuned.